Well, Coach, you know, this is one you guys have been really circling for a long time uh, for your group to come in and earn a win uh, against a really important opponent in Eastern Illinois. Just the fact you're able to get this win. Uh, what really stands out about the way your group performed tonight and was able to close out this one? Well, it's a great road win. Um, it's a great, great job of a team staying together. Um, you know, things kind of uh, went their way, and we stuck together, didn't panic. Uh, I thought our coaches did a heck of a job staying together and, uh, and bringing each other through throughout the game. Ryan Boyle got the start today. Some would, I mentioned this to Coach Eklinski too, you know, some would think, hey, you don't have your main starter out there, or at least a guy who started in your first two games, or maybe a little bit unease. There was no unease at all with you guys inside the program because you knew what you had mm -hmm. in Ryan Boyle. What did you see from him tonight? Well, I thought a guy that went out there, he was confident. Um, he put the ball where it was supposed to be and uh, took care of the offense. Uh, I thought they went in rhythm. Uh, I thought we ran the ball extremely well, and when we threw it, I thought he was very efficient. Jaquan Keys being able to rush the ball for over 200 yards tonight. Forget the exact total that he had, but for you guys, you always say it starts in running the football. You want to run the football. You want to continue to do so. What is it about that offensive line and a guy like Jaquan Keys for him to be able to have a night like he did tonight? Well, it was great. Uh, you know, obviously up front, uh, they did a tremendous job, nice job of blocking for him. And I thought out in the perimeter with our wide receivers did an outstanding job. They loaded the box. They knew we were going to run the ball. And uh, we just stayed on our blocks. And uh, Keys just kept running hard, kept churning. And uh, we got 230 yards later. He's, uh, he's having a heck of a day with four touchdowns. How odd of a game was it from the standpoint of the kick returns? Um, you know, there were just, you know, I've been around football for a while. I don't know if I've ever really been part of a game where there's been as many kick return yards as there was in just at odd times. Um, for you guys, did you really have, and you don't necessarily have to give the X's and O's answer here, um, but there was, was there a reason maybe on both sides why both teams had so much success, it seemed like, on kickoff returns? Well, I certainly can't speak on their behalf. Uh, I thought uh, on our, our behalf with our returns, I thought Dakota Canton did a tremendous job, but it, it, it's the other 10 guys blocking for him. And uh, Dakota did his job along with the other 10 guys, and the end result, we, we got some great field position. Um, I'd like to see the one that uh, they called back. Uh, I'd like to have that one back. Um, and then on their end, you know, uh, they, you know, give them credit. They had some nice runs too, but uh, uh, I know what we did wrong. We didn't fit some things right. We lost our contain. We didn't tackle well in the kickoff. We'll get those things corrected. I mean, we, those kids are, are very capable. When we settled down, again, again, we did not panic. Our coaches did a great job. We got good players. We got good coaches. We stuck together. Uh, there was no panic button that we were hitting, and uh, we got it fixed. And uh, in the end result, towards the end, uh, we, were, uh, we were able to keep them contained on the kickoff returns. What's it say about your group being able to finish it off in the second half for something that kind of some teams that may be young and don't have a ton of experience of finishing off games. Your team hasn't been in that spot. They were able to do it tonight. What does it say about them being able to hold it off in the second half and being able to apply the pressure? You know, this again, there was never any panic. There was only confidence in their eyes. Um, they, they listened to the adjustments that we made. They uh, uh, made them and uh, we stuck together. Uh, we knew that the offense would be able to move the ball, which they did. And defensively, we knew when we, we get our opportunities, we get our big stops. And uh, uh, we just, the biggest thing is staying together. And I thought, and I'm so proud of these guys for doing so. Finally, coach, before I let you go and enjoy this one uh, for at least the night uh, before you move forward, um, what does this do in terms of building your team's confidence? It's not that you didn't have a group that wasn't confident whatsoever, even heading into mm -hmm. this game tonight, but you got to buy. And then you'll get Northern Iowa to open up conference play when they have five days rest. Uh, it's always about us. You always preach that. It's not really about the opponent. But what can this do for your group to provide that energy shot, knowing you get a week to rest uh, before you play another game? Well, you know, obviously the, the bye will get some guys back. Um, being 2-1 and one going to conference is, is uh, where we should be. Uh, we very well could be 3-0. and oh. We're not. We're 2-1. and one. Uh, that's where we are, and we couldn't be more proud of that. Uh, obviously, going into the conference, we need the momentum. Um, we got an unbelievable opponent, one of the top teams in our conference, and we know that every team in our conference is darn good. And uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see how we match up in our conference come a uh, week and a half from now. Coach, enjoy this one. Appreciate the time, and we'll look forward to the bye. All right, thanks. <laughs>